Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable all the new features from the latest big feature update for Windows 11 24H2 on the main release. I've done a video yesterday in which I talked about all the main new features that are added. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable all the new features because some features are slowly rolling out. So it means that you may not see them right away. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily enable them. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future looks like this one. So let's begin with the video. Of course, we're going to need Vive Tool, which is a small tool that helps us enable features that are tested by Microsoft in the rolling out stage. But also, I recommend you go and watch the video that I've done for enabling all features from last month's feature release on the main release, because there you're going to have other features that you may not see yet if you don't have those IDs enabled. So you're going to have Vive Tool in the article below in the video's description. Just make sure to get the latest version.zip, for example, Intel and AMD, and then, and then open it up using File Explorer. In Inside File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse and extract it into a dedicated folder. For example, in Local Disk C, I have a folder here called Hidden Features. I'm going to select it and then also copy the location because we're going to need it whenever we will run the commands. Click on Extract. In my case, I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination. And that's it. This is how easily you set up Vive Tool on your computer. Now, open up the search box, type in here CMD, and then click on Run as Administrator. On user account control, of course, click on Yes. Inside CMD, type in CD and then space, paste the location where you extracted Vive Tool. And now you're going to have to run two different commands. First one is vive tool slash enable slash id 54238000 and then press enter. You should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. A huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com for providing these IDs. Make sure to follow him there from the pinned comment below. And the second command is vive tool slash enable slash id 56892083. Press enter. Here again, you should receive the message successfully set feature configurations. So this is how easily you enable all the features. All of these commands and steps that I've done in this video will be in the article below, so you can just copy and paste them from there if you want. Now exit out from the CMD and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So after the restart, you should see all the main features, including the small taskbar icons. If you right click on the taskbar, go to taskbar settings, taskbar behaviors, and go to show smaller taskbar buttons. We're gonna have all the options. You also should see all the new features for default apps and default browsers if you are in the European Economic Area, which will be shown here. And of course, the window share new features, for example, the feature that allows you to compress images and so on. Of course, if you want to see all the features that were added in this build, check out the video from yesterday because there I showed you every new feature. And also make sure to open up the Microsoft Store and then go to the download section and then click on check for update. This way you're going to have all the latest updates for all the apps that I presented in yesterday's video. So basically, this is all you have to do. You enable all the new features and have all the apps up to date. The paint app with the new instructions, snipping tool with color picker and text extractor, photos app with improved search and also improved Microsoft Store. For more information, of course, don't forget to check out the article below in the video's description or Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.